Okay, so this is part two talking about how purity culture started to help trigger deconstruction for me. In my last clip, I just mentioned that like I really I went into college fully expecting to meet guys, fully expecting to like meet the one and get married after college, but I wasn't presenting myself in a way that showed that I wanted to meet guys or that I was interested in meeting guys. I was just very closed off to them. To be fair to me, um, I really didn't have a lot of help in the cuteness department. I had braces, um, a bunch of like leftover teenage acne, and frankly, I just didn't know what to wear. Definitely had a very like homeschool type of look and I also was very focused on modesty like I truly believed that being modest was one of the best ways to attract godly men because that's what I'd been told and unfortunately for me that meant looking very frumpy so the, the result was that all through college I didn't go on a single date I was asked out by someone who was long distance um, he was a longtime family friend and at the time I said no because I didn't want to date long distance and it was like my freshman year of college but I was never asked out in person on a date by someone that I went to school with I got out of school. I still wasn't getting asked on, out on dates. Um, I was also going through like a really hard time. I went through pretty intense life challenges. I was looking for a job. I was super broke. Um, I gained weight after college. I was not feeling super confident in my body. So, you know, not things that really work for you when you're trying to be in the dating scene. I was oddly enough, finally asked out in person by someone that I didn't know at all. Like we were both at a Bible study and he like practically chased me to my car to like ask me out, which was kind of cute, but also was like, I'm a little creeped out. But I was 25. I went on my first in-person date at 25. And thankfully, like that's when I started to deconstruct some of my ideals around like biblical womanhood, because so much of my concept of what it was to be a biblical woman, especially as it related to dating, was that I was only supposed to be passive. I was only allowed to be passive. I was supposed to wait on God and wait on men to pursue me. And I was not allowed to do anything in the process. Also, my career was in shambles. I mean, I was 25 and I was broke. I was living at home, I had no money. Um, there were a lot of other things going on there, but I, I began to realize like, oh, I have never seriously considered my career path because I was so set on being a wife and mother that I didn't think I was gonna have a career and now I have to figure this out. And because my dating life wasn't working out, it was forcing me to realize like, wow, there is something wrong with this system and I need to reevaluate. I was forced to realize, oh, I have been put in this position where I was told that I would not need a career, so I did not plan for my career. I was also told that I wouldn't have to take an active role in my dating life, so I didn't take an active role in my dating life, and now I'm screwed in both arenas. Obviously, there's a lot more I can say on both of those fronts, but that is sort of the nutshell version of how purity culture helped to trigger some of my deconstruction process. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, I appreciate your comments, and I really thank you for, um, for following along.